rules for that to happen. Uh, Jesenia, you work at Steps to End Family Violence. It's the only alternative to incarceration program that assists the, the survivor defendant. The senator, the senator talked about the bill and what the bill will do. Tell us more about the campaign, why it's important, what kind of opportunity it creates, why people should get involved. Hi everyone, thanks for coming. Um, there are a lot of ways to get involved. So as Andrea said, Steps to End Family Violence is the only organization in the country that works specifically with survivor defendants as an alternative to incarceration program. And as a result, we work very closely also with the Women in Prison Project of the Correctional Association of New York and working, and working on this particular le legislation, the Domestic Violence Survivors Justice Act through the Violence Against Women Committee of the Coalition, we feel that it's the legislation that will hopefully make our work obsolete. Um, and that is our hope. Or at the very least, will help us start doing our work more effectively. And what it does, and I'll just say it one more time, and then I'll tell you ways you can get involved, it is a bill that says if you're a survivor of domestic violence, if your history of abuse was a significant contributing factor to the violent, to the charged crime, and if it would be unduly harsh to charge you under the regular sentencing scheme in New York State, you can be, you can apply to be sentenced under the Domestic Violence Survivors Justice Act. And what it does is that it significantly reduces the amount of time a person may have to do on certain crimes. It, re, it allows for diversion to alternative incarceration programs, and it allows for probation, and basically for more women to receive justice in the system, to be able to stay connected with their families, to be able to um, have some relief. And we're working very hard for this legislation because it's, there's a lot of reasons. Debbie's story is clearly a horrific story of injustice in the system, but Deborah's story is not the only one. We wouldn't exist as an organization if Deborah's story was the only one. And so we need everyone in the community to support the, legisla the legislation in order to bring the voices of these women out. And the ways you can do it are many. Then one way is to go to www.dvsurvivorsjusticeact.org, sign the petition. If you're a member of an organization, any organization, a church, um, a, a nonprofit organization, if you are part of a, some sort of law firm, anyone, anyone. We have individual sign-on letters as well as organizational sign-on letters. Right now we have 95 organizations signed on to the legislation. And we just, had, we just added two assembly members and one senator as of today. So we're up to, I believe, if I'm mistaken, Jaya will correct me, to 15 senators, 17 senators, and 15 assembly members right now. So we need more support. We, it's a great start, but as Senator Rufatso Thompson mentioned, things can get stuck in committees. So go on the website, sign on to the legislation, advocate to have your organization sign on to it, and um, come to our advocacy days, and we can give you more information on that as well. All of it is on the DV Survivors Justice Act .org. So I'd like to open up the floor now um, for questions.